All right, guys. So in one of my previous um, videos, I centered this one pound and a quarter ball. So I'm going to skip that. You guys can always refer back to centering a pound and a quarter of ball to watch how I did that. But let's go ahead and skip. I'm just going to throw a cylinder. So my clay is centered. I'm just going to go back and make sure that, you know, nothing happened while it wasn't moving. Now, here are the different ways that you can open up your pot. And it's really up to you, but I do have my favorites, especially for beginners. So the worst thing you can do is take your finger or your thumb and just start here and start driving it down. You have no anchor. Your arm is flying and the clay is going to tell you exactly where to go. And chances are you're not going to open quite in the center. You're going to be a little off. Some people will use one finger. But I don't think that this finger is so strong. So I don't have the faith or the strength to make this finger go straight down. And also, if I only use my finger, how am I gonna get my fingers in there to open up evenly? I'm probably gonna end up having it make the hole bigger to begin with to get my fingers in there. And then some people will wrap their hands around the mound of clay and put their hands here. The problem I have with that, especially with beginners, is now you're actually sanding away the clay in two spots. And what also tends to happen is you end up with this shape. And we actually are not looking to do that shape. So what I will do is I will wrap my hands around the mound of clay. Now I'm not actually holding on to the clay. I'm not pushing in. I'm just relaxing my hands down. My wrists are down. My elbows are on my thigh. I'm going to take my right thumb and I'm going to push down just a little bit until it starts wiggling. If I just kind of start anywhere, chances are my finger's going to get a little stuck and I'm, I'm in trouble there. So I push down just a little bit. I have my other finger on top and I just go straight down. Now, the reason why I'm not showing you this from the top is I want you to see how my elbow stayed down on my leg. That is the most important part. You're always throwing with your whole body, not your hands. This wheel is way too strong for just your hands. So you always wanna make sure that you're braced down, at least for the first beginning steps. As you start to throw and as you start to pull your walls, your arms are gonna get used to being in this position. So you'll remember to brace yourself. But in the very beginning, you're just like So we wanna make sure. The other thing I want you to notice is how this side of my finger here compressed what could have popped right up. So by using my thumb, I'm able to do that. Now, some people say they have short thumbs. Maybe you've got that, the thumbs that are a little shorter like Megan Fox. Um, so at that point, if you wanna use one thing, two fingers to go straight down, I would do that. Again, not one finger, two pointer fingers, but make sure two point first for two fingers, make sure they're the same length. That's going to be super important because if you go down like that, you're going to have a deeper part in the middle. So if you're going to go down again, wrap your hands over this hand, just so you're braced and go really fast. Now you want to do that with the wheel going super fast because otherwise the biggest mistake you can make is go too slow. When a jackhammer goes down to the ground, it goes really fast. If it goes too slow, then it'll start to hesitate and go from the left to right. So this is your driving the clay straight down and coming up. If you have fingernails, remember your nail is going to meet the bottom before your fingertips. So that's going to take some practice. So you see here, the lip is compressed, the hole is even, it's bright in the center. You can tell that by when the wheel is moving. And it's wide enough because I use my thumb or two fingers to get my hand or my finger or my sponge inside of there to open up the floor. Hope that helped.